Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Julia and this video is a little purple eyeshadow look that I created. So let's just get into this. Right now I'm just prepping my skin with the Ole Henriksen Trio Under Eye Cream, Face Cream and Serum. And then I'm just going in with my Infallible Foundation. Now I'm just going in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 190 and I'm not actually going to go in under my eye because I find that makes my face look a lot flatter. I'm actually going to just do the outer corner and inner corner of my eye to help lift, uh, make a lifted eye look and then also on my eyelid just to get, cancel out those veins when I do my um, eyeshadow afterwards. And then the outer corners of my lips also to help lift my face and make my cheekbones pop more afterwards because I have more of a round face so it just helps carve out the shape more. Here I'm just showing you this new NYX palette that I picked up from Shoppers. It has some really nice bright colors and I was looking for a purple or blue eye and I ended up choosing the purple one so this color was really pretty. Um, I was just showing you the palette because then I ended up going in with my transition color first from my chocolate bar palette, which you'll see. So I just went in with this nice um, orangish brown toned color as a crease. Um, this is just going to help as a transition from the purple to the darker brown that I'm going to end up doing. And for my eye shape, I find that it's best to put the color on my crease as well as extend it um, towards the outer, like towards my eyebrow tail. Because it helps just lift my eye more because I do have, um, I don't know how to explain it, like... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just do that because it helps the shape of my eye look better. Then I just took like a white um, color to put under my brow bone and just under the dark color on the outer wing because it was just cleaning up a little bit of the edge. Now I'm just going in with that pretty purple Charlotte from the NYX um, palette that I picked up and I'm just putting that on the inner corner into about the like halfway to the third quarter. One thing that I will say about this palette is that it's not very pigmented so I had to go over it a bunch of times to get the color to really show through like I wanted to but I did not want to wait for some Sephora eyeshadow palette to come through. So I just had to do what I had to do. I just picked it up from shoppers really quick because again, I was not gonna wait three weeks for this to ship to me. Then I'm just taking my subculture palette and taking the darkest brown shade there and slowly building the outer corner of my eye.
Now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows here and normally I just brush them up and then I take the brown eyeshadow from my chocolate bar palette once again and it's the darkest brown there and that just is to fill in the sparse places of my eyebrow. Sometimes I use a pencil but I find that after a long time of using the pencil, going back to the eyeshadow is just like so nice. It makes it look more natural I find and I don't always like the harsh eyebrow look so this is just something I've been doing recently. Now I'm taking the baking powder from Becca and I'm just setting under my eye and underneath my eyeshadow to make it a little bit more crisp and then just brushing that away. I'm just picking up some more purple and putting that on my um, eyelid again because once again the pigmentation was not very good so I was just trying to get as purple as I could. I was about to curl my eyelashes and put my mascara on, but then, look, I realized maybe I should try a little something new. So I took some um, black liner and I was going to do like a little lynx, uh, sphinx cat inner corner, but that is a really old liner, so it's very dry. And then I decided to just keep trying to use this, try and wet it a little bit, and then it ended up not really working, so I went in with like a black eyeshadow as well to put on top of the line that I did make. I was really trying so hard to make this work. Honestly, I've never really done this part before, but I really liked the way that it made my eye shape look afterwards, so I'm glad that I tried. But it was such a struggle because I need a new eyeliner really badly, but once again, it takes so long to ship, so I'm just like, oh, I can wait for this to be over this quarantine bullshit. Now I'm just curling my eyelashes and then I'm going to be using the Roller Lash by Benefit. It's one of my favorite mascaras. It makes your eyelashes look so long and beautiful. I always end up coming back to it. I've tried a few other mascaras. There's a really good one from CoverGirl. I think it's called The Exhibitionist. You should really try that. You can also get that from Shoppers or um, what's it called? A drugstore. Now I'm just taking my chocolate Too Faced bronzer and using that on my cheekbones and my forehead. I also just take a little bit of what's left on the brush and use that to use it on my nose for a little sculpting. Otherwise, sometimes I use my Fenty Beauty matchstick in a, a shade that's like a bronzer and I use that to um, snatch my nose. And guys, my camera died, so I'm so sorry the look was not finished, but I just went ahead and finished off my lips with an NYX Beautiful Lip Liner and Lip Gloss. Thank you so much for watching, and please let me know what you would like to see next.